Our first big band of the morning uh, has had a great two weeks. They've had the opportunity to work with not only Mr. Spinella, but last week Mr. Hines, two of the, two of the best big band teachers I know of for the younger uh, clientele. And uh, uh, Fabio's uh, got his degree from USC, was a member of the big Trojan marching uh, machine, and now does lots of uh, salsa gigs and plays every night practically in Los Angeles. He also teaches uh, as a clinician at many schools and uh, just a great, great guy and a great teacher. And I know these guys had fun with him, right? He was tough, but fun, right? Yeah, well, he's Italian, that's why he's tough. So anyway, he's a Sicilian, so there you go. Anyway, we're glad you're here at the concert. We got five great big bands for you. Then you're welcome to eat lunch at the dining room with us. And then the one o'clock combo concert starts right at one o'clock. And uh, make sure before you take your kid down the hill, you check them out of the dorms. And uh, like I said, we've had a great week. One of, the different, one of the other breaks, I'll introduce some of the staff for you. But right now, we need some music. Mr. Spinella and the band.
Jeff asked me not to talk on the mic, I don't know if it's a curse or anything, so I'm just going to stay away from it. Hopefully you told that to all the directors.
Yeah, how about that for the youngest group, huh? Good. You're going to be impressed. Uh, you know, we had a great two weeks. We saw a lot of growth the first week. We saw even more growth the second week. We, I tell the kids at the beginning of the camp that I said one of the things that you're going to think about before you leave is I've learned more these two weeks than I've learned my entire lifetime in jazz education. And so we try to stick by that pledge. Uh, real quickly, uh, and please save your applause till the very end. I want to introduce the staff. They're not all here. Some of them had gigs. They're gone. We really end our uh, teaching day yesterday. So uh, some of them leave big bands and combos, so they're still here. But the, the staff that works with everybody during the week, some of them go home. So uh, our base teachers this week, we had Marshall Hawkins, we had Bart Simolis, and we had Dan Randlauer. How about a big hand for those guys? And I'm not going to spend a lot of time going into the institutions they work for and what they've done in their past, but uh, the, the staff that we have up here, this is my 27th year as far as the chairman, uh, and uh, I'm pleased to say that every year I think we get better, we fine tune it. I, uh, I make sure I keep the guys that are great players, great teachers, and great human beings, and it seems like uh, uh, every staff member now fits that mold. Uh, our, uh, Piano staff was Jeff Helmer and uh, Matt Harris and John Madison. Big hand for those folks. Our guitar guys, uh, Tom Hines and Dan Radlauer. Dan's a rhythm specialist, so he works with everybody. And uh, thank you. And our drummers were Bobby Dominguez and Matt Johnson. So that's the rhythm guys. Our horn staff working with the trumpets uh, was Jim Linehan, Jeff Jarvis, uh, Gene Nakanishi, uh, Fabio Spinella, and Ron, the great Ron Stout. That's our trumpet staff. <laughs> Trombones, myself, Lee Gauze, and Dave Beatty yeah. am, am, amply took care of that. And then our saxophone staff was uh, Charlie Richard, Rob Lockhart, uh, Paul Carmen, Shai Golan, uh, Matt Zebley and Dan St. Marseille. So we were lucky to have lots of great people. I, I'm lucky uh, and well, since we have lots of students, we have lots of staff. And so anytime you have uh, one staff member for every six students, it works out pretty good. Anyway, this is the next group uh, up the line. They had Mr. Lee Gauze last week and this week they've had the pleasure to work with Dan St. Marseille. Dan is the uh, Jazz Studies Director at uh, the Orange County School of the Arts and has been a longtime uh, member of the Southern California jazz scene. Great tenor player, woodwind guy. Uh, we were talking yesterday, he even played the national anthem on tenor sax for the Los Angeles Angels a few years ago. So. Uh, well, yeah, the California Angels? Yeah, that's the best minor league team in the system, right? Yeah, great, okay. Anyway, so. Uh, enjoy the group. Mr. St. Marseille, take them away, huh? Tune up. Tune up. That's the first tune. Tune up.
you can see, we have to make a personnel change. Uh, the second piece, uh, well, actually, that first piece featured uh, our tenor saxophone is David Scott. It's here for David. <laughs> and again, Omega. So this next piece is written by our friend uh, Jeff Bennell. It's a contrafact on the tune called There Will Never Be Another You. It's called Unless You're Cloned, and it's going to feature the tenor saxophonist.
next time. And it features a solo by our lead alto, Brianna. Say hi, Brianna. You clap for her, she deserves it. So maybe next time by letting me help.
Uh, another uh, credit, uh, Gary Francisco uh, via Nick Rail Music is out there with some displays, lots of horns, music, mount pieces. Check that out if, you, if you're in the market, check that out before you leave. He's got a lot of sale items. Also, I'd like to thank our tech crew inside and our summer staff, Jerry and uh, Josie and the whole tech crew inside here handling sound and lights. We can't do it without them. And then the summer staff, Emma McMinimum, which which uh, runs the whole thing. She's my boss, Diane Dennis, our register, which you dealt with a lot, I'm sure. Hannah on the programs, and Allison on the, uh, the housing and stuff. So a big hand for all the support staff. Also, uh, the student concerts are always videotaped, and we have wonderful facilities, and the Flying Pigs Corporation do a great job of getting video and DVD. Uh, they're, they're always ready today, so if you want to order one of those, a little keepsake memento of the occasion, uh, feel free to check with them in the back of the auditorium. The reason the conductors are not saying a lot, because I told them not to. Uh, it's good to be the king, you know? Uh, and, uh, but also, it makes the concert go a lot faster. Everybody's in the program. They acknowledge the soloists. You have the tunes and selections and composers. And by doing that, it makes things go faster. It also makes the afternoon concert much more bearable in the heat. So we're trying to just move along for your sake uh, so that uh, uh, we're not cooking you by the afternoon. The next group, our middle big band, had a wonderful time last week with Matt Harris, the director of jazz studies at uh, Cal State Northridge. And this year, the director of commercial music, uh, Dave Beatty, from Azusa Pacific University has done a wonderful job with them. And uh, here they go, Dave Bainey and the band.
just like to uh, mention a couple of uh, couple of things for your knowledge. Please drive safely down the hill today. Um, it's always a little dangerous. Be careful. Um, and uh, it's nice to see all the parents here today. And, uh, Hello. This next group, uh, last week, got to work with uh, Charles Richards, uh, Director of Jazz Studies at Riverside College. They had a lot of fun, did a great job. And this week, I uh, had an outstanding opportunity to work with the Admiral over here. Uh, Lee Gauze was uh, the base bowl player in the United States Navy Commodores, the Navy's finest jazz band in Washington, D.C. And he actually uh, led the group for about seven years. And uh, we're really always pleased to have him here to work with the Tombones and the big bands. He does a great job. and he. He's an old school guy and we love him. So uh, here's here's his band this week. Uh, Master Chief retired. Oh, hey, hey, Lee Goss and the band. That's what he retired.
Well, we've come to the last big band. How about a big hand for the first four, huh? Yeah, if you're an aficionado of big bands, uh, you've heard some really good big bands. Keeping in mind they had five rehearsals to put together today's program for you. Okay, so right after this concert, uh, uh, please go out that direction, okay? So we can keep the air conditioning on for you. And uh, feel free to eat in the dining room as our guest. And uh, the concert, the combo concert starts right at one o'clock. We've got 10 really nice combos for you. They, uh, they're about 10 minutes each, so it, it'll go pretty quick. And remember, as you're leaving, drive carefully and uh, check your uh, student out of the dorm correctly. Please don't leave anything. Uh, if you leave something, thank you for the donation. And uh, there we go. So we've had a good week. The, the two weeks that the students have been up here, uh, 9 o'clock has been theory, 10 o'clock has been a master class for them for the two weeks, 11 o'clock has been jazz improvisation, and then the rehearsals, bands, and combos have been in the afternoon. So we've, we've kept them busy during the daylight hours. Anyway, this next group is our, the oldsters. These are the, uh, the all-stars, or the, uh, the heavy cats, as we say in the business. And... Uh, I'm, I, I, just, I need to say the fact that, and I hope I uh, spur them on to do great things. This is probably one of the most talented groups we've had here at Idlewild Arts. Lots of uh, great young folks that are really passionate about jazz and music. And uh, so they deserve to, uh, last week, work with Jeff Jarvis, the director of jazz studies at Cal State Long Beach. Wonderful musician and teacher. And this week, my buddy, uh, great piano player. In fact, one of the most outstanding jazz pianists you're going to hear anywhere. And he's the director of jazz studies at the University of Texas at Austin. Come on now, do it for him. Hook him horns. Hook him horns. <laughs> but a great jazz educator and, uh, as you're going to get to hear, a great jazz teacher. So here's the, uh, here's the top dogs. Do we have a name for this band other than the top dogs, huh? There we go. Anyway, not the hot dogs, the top dogs. Anyway, here's, here's our, uh, our big, big band under the direction of Mr. Jeff Helmer.
right, thanks. We're going to start it out with a Tom Cuba tune called Exactly Like This. And you're going to hear from Joe on piano, Noah on trumpet, Emma on alto, Tim on tenor, and Sam on trombone. Hope you enjoy it.
All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. That's a lot of fun. We've had a great time together this week. Uh, just so many talented musicians in the band and so many great people. We've had a great time learning music together and getting this band uh, to sound good. So I hope you're enjoying the results of these efforts. Our next tune is uh, a Mark Taylor arrangement of a Wayne Shorter tune called One by One that was made popular by Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. And it gives you a chance to meet some more of the many great soloists we have in this band. So in this one, you'll hear from John on tenor, and then Adam, our other pianist, will play, and then Soham on guitar, and then Eric on tenor, and then Evan on trumpet finishes it up. Okay, so I hope you enjoy one by one.
one by one. All right, we're going to turn our attention to a different rhythmic field now and play you kind of a salsa piece uh, written by the next student of mine who's a wonderful jazz educator at the University of Memphis now named Jack Cooper. He also spent a lot of time out here in the L.A. area. So in Con Fuego, you're going to hear from yet more talented soloists. We're going to hear from Ola on the alto saxophone, Jeremy on the trumpet, and we're going to hear from Garrett on the drums on this one, and also a lot of fine ensemble work by the rhythm section. Okay, and so uh, there's a little room in the aisles or down front here if anybody wants to try out their salsa dancing lessons, see if they've got any their money's worth. There's the places right over here. So we're going up with Con Fuego.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I can't say what a pleasure. I can't tell you how much of a pleasure it's been for me to be here this week, as it has been for many years at Idlewild to work with such talented young people. And thank you so much, parents and relatives, for your support of these great young people. Jazz is alive with these young people. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. And I have to say, in the 15 years I've been coming here, this is the best big band that I've ever worked with in the 15 years. So we're doing some uh, really great things at this camp. And that's thanks to, their, thanks to their efforts. So we're going to close it up for you with a great hard bop kind of party shuffle tune called Philly McNasty, written by Horace Silver, arranged by John LaBarbera. Going to hear from Jade on alto on this one, Evan on trumpet, Avery on the guitar, and Stephen on trombone. So have some fun with this one, Philly McNasty.